Hello everyone, my name is Blitz37 and today we have a Pokemon Direct, a Pokemon Presents, uh, po Happy Pokemon Day. I haven't recorded, streamed, done anything YouTube related in so long, but today we're going to be getting more news or new information about upcoming games, releases for Pokemon. Um, to be honest, a lot of people say like Gen 2, Gen 5, uh, I really don't care like what we get, honestly, as long as it's good. I prefer Gen 2. Um, but yeah, let's just watch this direct or present, see what we get. Uh, I really don't know what to expect. I'm just going to skip it to, February yep, Ishihara. Uh, this is the date that the Pokemon Red and yeah, Pokemon so the series is 28 years old, in Japan. if I'm not mistaken. Our adventures with so Pokemon in two years, we'll get Gen 10, which will be fun. Uh, and the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games have expanded to fit into so but I don't know what to expect. Life, I really don't including know. Walking and sleeping. We'll keep challenging ourselves to create new ways they might make a new Legends game. I would love that. I love Legends of Arceus. Uh, I'm shocked that game didn't get DLC. But... All the latest news about Pokemon, including our newest titles. So they have Scarlet and Violet, Please take it away. Ogre Pond, or uh, Hello, yeah, Ogre Pond. I'm from the Pokemon Company. Okay. I hope everyone has enjoyed their adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games so far. Okay, so are they starting off with that? Pokemon Day. We've planned a series of Terra Raid battle events. <sighs> I mean, these are... Terra Raids are fun. Scarlet and Violet is just a really... It's not a bad game, but the DLC... can show, like, some of the flaws that the game has. Give us some new spinoffs. That's what I want. I want new spinoffs. Like Ranger, Mystery Dungeon. I'm tired of Sleep, Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon Unite. Okay, Pokemon, this is for me. Let's see, what, let's see what's happening. It's a new season, I think. A collaboration event okay. With Pokemon Go is on its way. So that's next week. They still haven't released the anime for... Um... That's crazy. They still haven't Shoot done the anime Trap yet. Is making its debut. Okay. It even knows an attack new to Pokemon Go, Bolt Tackle. Okay, Serial Edge. We're getting Sarah Ledge. Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerule Ledge are coming too. Can they be shiny? Nico and Roy will be dropping in when you snap a pick and go snapshot. What? So set out on an adventure with your new friends. The fact that we still haven't gotten the anime yet. It's been out for almost two years, I think. It's kind of crazy, but okay. Alright, we can skip this. We're good. We're good. I'm skipping this. Raikou, get out of here. Alright, we're not... We don't play this game. <laughs> yeah, we don't play this game. Do people actually play Pokemon Sleep? Like genuinely, do people actually play it? Okay, this I I want to skip this, but let's just see. I think they leaked it. I never give up. Lance, Silver. You're the greatest in the world. You're the greatest and strongest partner I could ask for. Fight! He has a Tyranitar. Pokemon Masters is like... Okay, this got leaked. This got leaked, okay. But Pokemon Masters is like, what, four years old now? Five years? Okay. Pokemon Unite, I'm guessing. Pokemon Cat. This is what I was talking about. Alright. Oh, gimme goal. Now, the art style for this game is very... I, I love it. It's really unique. Um, but is it like... It's not like Pokemon Shuffle. Okay, I don't... I don't have an opinion. <laughs> okay, what's next? Is the stream lagging? Pokemon Unite. So they're just flying through these, which is good. Maridon. I have friends who play this game. They tell me power creep in this game is just insane. I don't even want to. I don't even play Mobus. I don't even want to touch it. Yeah, I know that yeah, Maridon's gonna be just 
power creep. But I don't play these games, so I don't I don't really know. I don't have a I don't have a preference really. Okay. That should be every spin-off, right? Okay, good, good. I am so glad that they ran through all that stuff. That was like what, four or five minutes? So now we can get to business. Moving on. Please have a look at this video. Okay, it's either gonna be clothing or a main series game. Okay. What? Oh, I forgot about the trading card game. What? So they act. So what is this? I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. I mean, it's always been not like I won't say gambling, but it's always been like you know, gotcha, kind of. Bro popped off. <laughs> what in the world? So there's like a it's like a trading card game. Like I thought they already had this. Cause I know the Yu-Gi-Oh one is popping off. Was it Duel Links? Okay. I mean, this is this is pretty cool. I don't. I stopped playing cards like a long time ago. Wait, are they about to transition to something? What was that? I thought they were about to transition to like Legends Arceus or something. Now, one thing I will say about the trading card games is the art. I remember I looked up, uh, I can't think of the artist, but the level X Pokemon were Gen 4, like all the way back then. Bro, when I say those artists went crazy back then, it was insane. What you just saw was the world's first look at Pokemon trading card game Pocket. Okay, so they're actually doing that. This game lets you easily collect Pokemon cards, which players all over the world have enjoyed since they Now, my question is, but in a new digital I, I'll, wait, I'll wait for him to say it. The Pokemon Company is developing this game as a three-party collaboration with Creatures Inc., the creators of the Pokemon trading card game, and DNA, our partners in the development of Pokemon Masters EX. Really? To mark the launch of this title, here's a message from Mr. Yuji Kitano, President and CEO of Creatures. My issue is, like, Pokemon cards are, like, when I say the market for that is just insane. It's insane. Like I'm not even sure if they want to do that. For enjoying the Pokemon trading card game with Pokemon trading card game pocket. Like, hope to bring you obviously got scalpers and stuff, but like, bro, the market game. for that so is just work developing digital it's cards. insane. Like, it is it's crazy. People go crazy for Pokemon cards. cards. We strive to please by taking great care with our paper quality, colors, and Jesus, bro. Since this game uses mobile devices rather than paper, we're challenging ourselves to express that care in new ways that are only possible digitally. Such as using the characteristics of the screen to show off brilliant colors and stylish effects. Okay, I mean... One way we're accomplishing this is with immersive cards. Yeah, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. The world of the card illustration. Um... What's more, we've developed new streamlined game rules based on our existing... But I feel like are the, are the current TCG players going to want this? Who have been playing physical for like 20 years, are they going to want to switch over? That's my question. Our three companies are all working hard to deliver a fun experience for those of you who already enjoy the Pokemon trading card game, as well as those who've never played before. If yeah, you look I'm, I'm curious to see how this turns out. The Pokemon trading card when is it released? Pokemon trading card game pocket. Thank you so much. That's pretty big, though. Thank you, Mr. Kitano. So this year, probably the summer. Summer would be the best time to release that, like July, June. Please look forward to more details in the future. How many minutes in are we? One more thing. Okay. We'd like to end today's presentation with one final video for you all. End today's prison, bro. Thank what? For tuning in. We just started. <laughs>
Okay, unknown. What is that spell? What is that? I see the S's. What, is, what did that spell? Bro, y'all are ending it already? Like, how? It hasn't even been like, what has it been? Like 10 minutes? 15? Okay. This is probably the Gen 5 remakes. Just give me the Gen 5 remakes so I, I don't I can stop hearing about this on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this the um Urban Redevelopment? Okay. A vision. What is this? Please don't be Detective Pikachu 3. Okay, that looks pretty cool. But like, what? Pyroar, Club oh, Gen 6? Wait, are we going to Kalos? Halucha, Gyarados, okay. Are we going to Kalos? Is that Lumios? Holy shit, we're going to Kalos? Are we going to Kalos? That's Lumios. That's Lumios. That's Lumio City. We're going to Kalos. Oh my dude, this Bro. That is Kalos. That is the Kalos region. That is Lumio City. Lumio City, I knew it. Oh my god. Wait, so we're going to Kalos instead of Unova? I'll take it. I will take it. I will take it. Pokemon Legends. Z Oh, that is a Z Z A? What is that? What is that? Z A? 2025. Okay, so no game this year. Okay. Okay. I will I will take that. I will take that over Gen 5. I will, Mega Evolution. Yep. They got they I, oh my god. The new megas. New megas gonna be crazy. Oh my god. Is that it? I'm so excited. I I oh my Okay, let me. Okay, so that was it. That was it. All right, let me get my let me get my thoughts on this real quick because um, let me get all this. I'm gonna go to CRB because CRB probably has some information on it. Um, so is it Z A Z A Z A? Okay, okay. So my thoughts. Gen six is my third favorite generation. It's the only generation that I feel like got snuffed. It didn't get any like you had X and Y. Then you obviously had Sun and Moon. It didn't get a third version, right? So you just have X and Y, and those games, you know, they're not, they haven't aged the best, right? It's been 10 years, uh, 11 years. Uh, and I guess you can include Oras technically, but those games, they never got a fair chance, like compared to all the other generations. I love Kalos. Like the Pokemon, even if it's just 70 Pokemon, what that generation did for the franchise was crazy. We went to 3D, new typing, rebalanced everything, like switched everything from Gen 5. So this is way more exciting to me than. Gen 2, I mean, Gen 2 is my second favorite generation, and Gen 5. I don't, Gen 5 is like, it's a good generation, I'm not going to deny it, but it's not what I would want to go to right now. Um, like, this, Gen 6 deserves to have a remake more than any other generation. That, and I kind of wanted Gen 5 remakes just so we could get closer to Gen 6. So, I much prefer that the route that they're taking, and they're going the Legends route. So, that is, like, Legends Arceus, Another game, I think, that got, not snuffed, but it came out, right? So, like, I think it's, like, 12 million. So, it's so worse than BDSP, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, right? So, it's, yeah, it's, like, 12, or it's, like, around that range. It was very, um, like, highly, highly acclaimed by the fans. Everyone loved it. But then, that same year, we got Scarlet and Violet. That game got no DLC. They didn't really talk about it, like, after release. They just released it, and then that was it. It was a very good game, uh, very good content. Yeah, you had no battles, but it was still a very, very good game um, that Game Freak could make, that we knew Game Freak could make. So the fact that they're taking this route with Kalos, I would much prefer over just Gen 5 Remake or Gen 2, whatever whatever the fans want. I'd much prefer this route. So I'm, I'm, I, that, I'm way more excited now for next year. Um, if it was this year, it would have been like, 
I mean, there's nothing really coming out this year for Pokemon. They don't. They might release like a spinoff. They might do. People said they would do DLC three for Scarlet and Violet. That I would. I I'll pass on that. But um, I I I'm so glad that they are taking this direction. Um, did not know I wanted that today. But yeah, that is dude. That's so good for. It's such a good direction because a lot of people like when I Gen six did so much for the franchise, and then we went to Gen seven, and then Gen seven was like. It, it was Gen 7. I, I can't say if it was good or bad, but it definitely didn't appeal to a lot of fans. Then Gen 8, Gen 9. So I'm like, oh my God. Like, And then new Megas, like fans, fans have been begging for new Mega Evolutions. Like we've been saying that. We need Megas. No one cares about Z-Moves, Dynamax, all that other stuff. We need Megas, right? Making older Pokemon that are trash, more viable competitively, or just cooler in general. Does every Pokemon need a Mega? No, Tyranitar does not need a Mega. Metagross does not need a Mega because they're already good. But something like Mawile, going from literally trash to like viable, like that is just that generation did so much, and people just man, I I'm so glad that they're going Gen Six route, ZA to ZA. Um, so that means this is probably going to tie into like the Great War. I think that's what it's called, the War with AZ and Floette. Um, so we'll definitely see Zygarde in there. Zygarde might get like Zygarde might get another form. Zygarde's been like I think all over the place. He's in he's in Kalos. He's in uh, he's in uh, uh, what's what's Gen Seven. He's in Alola for some reason. He might get another form. Uh, I I don't know what they would call it because he has a hundred percent form. We'll be beyond a hundred percent. But I mean, yeah, that's. Arceus might be involved. There, there are so many routes that they could take. Um, I'm, I'm very interested to see like what new Pokemon would they reveal for Gen Six because, or for just the region. These, these would be Gen Nine Pokemon technically, but like what? I don't know. Like, like regional forms. I'm trying to think of. Um, it, it's very hard to say. Like, we just this is all we have right now, but it's. I'm I'm very curious to see like what they introduce because I mean like Gen nine I mean we only had two regional forms but like Gen six like this they did a very good job I I mean I'm, I just love Kalos so much but uh yeah I mean I really I really don't know what what direction um they'll go for Z Z A not A Z Z A so that's a um, that's a very interesting way to end the presents. Overall, I think the presents was pretty good. Um, well, I think that was pretty good. I expected more. <laughs> they did. They steamrolled through the things I really don't care about, and then they ended on a high note. But I felt like there was something that they could have announced because, like, no, no, like when I say spinoff, I mean like a not. I'm not trashing going like um, uh, Unite or Go or any of those games, right? Or TCG. TCG was pretty big, but like spinoffs that like most people would play. Like like when a Mystery Dungeon game came out in Gen Four or a Ranger game came out in Gen Four, everyone bought it. Like even even if you've never played, it, everyone bought it. That's something I feel like the current generations are lacking. Um, just like I mean, I mean, yeah, you could just make a new Mystery Dungeon, make a new Ranger, but I mean, it's it's up in the air on like the quality of like how good those games would be, but yeah, I will I will take A Z. I will take a new TCG. We'll we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, this was this was pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm glad you're taking this direction. So um, yeah, I I'll upload this as soon as possible. And I might do a follow up video, honestly, just give my thoughts on ZA because I do have a lot more to say about it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and.